Hey guys, this is Suns Fan with a spotlight video for items classified as weapons. Short Sword is a 3 gold basic weapon that gives plus 2 attack to the wielder. Simple and deceptively effective. Demagicking Maul is a 5 gold uncommon weapon that provides plus 2 attack. It also comes with an active which can be used every round. When activated, it will condemn a random enemy improvement. However, you can only use the active if your hero is unblocked. This is a nice item to put in your deck if you're worried about improvements, but of course you have to make sure you're unblocked. Stonehall Pike is a 6 gold common weapon that provides plus 2 attack, and after each successive combat phase that hero lives, it will modify itself with another plus 1 attack. This is an item that provides a ton of value the longer the game goes. Blade of the Vigil is a 7 gold common weapon that will provide plus 2 attack and plus 2 cleave. This is currently the only item that provides cleave, which can be quite important for clearing creep waves. Assuming there are a bunch of melee creeps in a lane with full HP, this will ensure that your creeps can outlive the enemy creeps. Blink Dagger is a 7 gold uncommon weapon that provides plus 2 attack, and an active which can be used every 2 rounds. When used, you'll be able to move the equipped hero to a lane of your choice. Keep in mind that the position within the lane is still random. This is easily one of the most sought after items in the game. Being able to move lanes is extremely powerful. Broadsword is a 7 gold common weapon that provides plus 4 attack. This is essentially an upgraded version of the short sword. Jasper Daggers is a 7 gold uncommon weapon that provides plus 2 attack and pierce. This simply means that while equipped, the hero will deal piercing damage to both units and towers. Keenfolk Musket is a 7 gold common weapon that will provide plus 2 attack, as well as an active ability which can be used every 2 rounds. When activated, it'll deal 2 damage to a unit of your choice. This can be quite good for finishing off creeps or very low heroes, but it's unfortunately not something you can use every single round. Poaching Knife is an 8 gold rare weapon that, like many weapons at this cost, will give plus 2 attack but you'll also passively get 5 extra gold when you kill an enemy hero, and 1 extra gold for an enemy creep. This can be a nice way to ramp up your gold intake in a hurry. Now, two important notes about this item that may not be obvious upon first read. Firstly, the passive gold effects are not a result of who the holder of the item kills, but instead for any ally in the lane. This fact alone makes the item far more valuable in theory. And secondly, the holder of the item does need to survive in order for the extra gold to count. Red Mist Maul is a 10 gold common weapon that provides plus 2 attack and plus 5 siege for the holder. If you need to learn more about the siege mechanic, be sure to watch our full-fledged tutorial on rfaction.gg. This is great for finishing towers when you have absolutely no way to get around wide range of creeps. Claymore is a 15 gold uncommon weapon that provides plus 8 attack to a hero. First, there's a short sword, then broadsword, and the final form seems to be the claymore. It does provide a lot of raw damage. Wingfall Hammer is a 19 gold rare weapon that passively provides plus 4 attack and also comes with an active that can be used every single round. When used, it'll give the equipped hero and its allied neighbors regeneration for the round. The amount of regeneration is half of the equipped hero's attack, rounded down. This is the only defensive weapon item available and provides an extremely powerful mechanic in regeneration. Apotheosis Blade is a 25 gold rare weapon that provides a passive plus 8 attack and plus 4 siege. Also, any unit the equipped hero does damage to will be condemned. It also comes with an active ability, which can be used every single round. When used, it'll condemn all enemy improvements in that lane. Think that's enough? Just wait, there's so much more. If your hero is blocked by an enemy hero, using this active will also condemn all the enemy hero's items. Oh my lord, this is the mother of all weapon items. It gives you pretty much everything you'd possibly need. It gives you massive damage, you kill every unit you battle, which synergizes well with so many cards, and you can destroy improvements and hero items. Not to mention, if you're blocked by the creep, you'll still do 4 damage to the tower. Man, this, oof, this is, this is a sick item. To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.